down to the, the columns on these things. These columns are not in bedrock. They're not in bedrock. All right, they're not in bedrock. They're not in uh, um, uh, what's down there? Your uh, your slate, not slate. What the hell you guys got down in Florida? The uh, yeah, my brain's frozen again. Yes, uh, whatever. These are PIF. This is pressure injected footings to take 150 tons. So what they do is let's see if I, I have a. Don't I think I kind of wound it up for you here. So you uh, you know what? I thought I had a better image. Here we go. There it is. So let's watch this. So they you ram the earth. You ram this. You ram it until you determine it, it's 150 tons. And then watch watch oh, this machine is kind of cool. Their their machine, their version of it. All right. So they were at, there's a stone. There's everything. It blow balloons out a little bit. Ah, then we got resistance of 150 tons. And lay down some reinforcement. And drop in the concrete. Drop in the concrete. And remove the sleeve. And there's your sleeve, and there's your there's your your piers. Your piers right there. So it doesn't have to make it does not make it down to any bedrock or anything like that shell or I forget what they call it what you guys got to have down there. It's a pressure injected um, footing. So this is what happens. So could you get settlement? Um, you'd have to have all this guy go down. Could this buckle? Could you get this uh, liquefaction here and you get a span that's greater than than uh, normal? This is what I was talking about in the uh, one of my videos. And then you can get buckling, but I don't think so because they use um, multiples in each, you'd have to have multiple failures. They're using uh, caps. So then here's your pier cap, and then they transfer the load onto the piers at that point onto your columns. So pier caps, pressure injected forms, uh, footings rather, and then 150 tons, I guess, each. Um, and then the uh, uh, your, your transfer is there. Um, your reinforcement as such kind of kind of probably kind of weak ass but there's a four thousand psi interesting the uh, they got four thousand psi there six thousand are the columns so you're, you're loading here and you do have some bridging there some on some some span has got to deal with um, cast in place concrete cap so that's a, that's another possibility to look into. You know the caps. There's some tension piles to stop them from turning over. Uh, you have these tie downs to stop the building from tipping over. Same thing. Um, they would be anchored anchoring your your columns. Um, I don't think we have that tipping over. This is 24. Uh, apparently 24. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 24. Yeah. There's 24. Uh, pressure injected footings right here. So let's see if I can get you um, the image again. So again, you saw the way it works: compressed foundation soil. So it is not, not uh, uh, skin friction, and it's not on a uh, your shale or whatever you call it down there. Not your, not there. It's sitting. It's compressed soil and stone that uh, they, that it sits on top of, transferring uh, any dead loads. I wanted to come to this here. This is the deck, and there's a change of elevation right there. You can see the step up. So there's a change of elevation. Oh, but what's this? Hmm, pretty high off of what appears to be an existing floor drain, and then they added, well, not stamped concrete, as everyone uh, has informed me a couple of times. This appears to be um, the uh, pavers. This looks like a camera. That would be nice. It looks like a camera. Here are the planters that everyone's so worried about. It looks like they're on top of a, a pier there, and possibly the punch shear, and this was possibly sitting on top of a pier also. So possibly. It looks like, because it doesn't look like it dropped. Deck around this dropped. A little bit of punching around it, maybe. So I think that's on top of a pier. Probably that, too. So I don't think they're, they were that, that stupid on these planters and their placement um, for all you people who are into the planter thing. Um... So, but that's a heck of an overlay that they put on top of there. So this video is brought to you by foundations of the structure and what they really are. They are not 
they're not set and uh, so could you get settlement um, you'd have to push both of these at the same time both of these down so you got 150 tons the building uh, would have to settle uniformly also because nobody's talking about windows on one side of the building cracking or and frames not doors not closing they had to read you can research that though so if the uh, if the uh, you can research that to see if it's in meetings of uh, of the uh, the uh, civic the, uh, the condo association so if that if you care to look for any settlement issues that would be there complaints under windows windows and doors not operating um, plumbing would break um, electricity might shear um, so do I see settlement there I do, I do not you know I do not maybe more soil came in and gave it an appearance of more settlement but I don't see that happening because you've got these giant everything has to be uh, either you're going to get all this breaking and cracking in the structure or by chance all of these found footers and foundations would have all lowered themselves equally and I would say there's no chance in hell that that happened so I don't think you have any settlement going on here at all um, that that's that's my opinion and it's hopefully will be yours too once you realize you know the footprint how are you going to get all of these to settle at the same time without having issues I mean uh, how you get partial settlement you'd have to get uniform settlement across everything and this is not this is not going to be a friendly friendly system to allow uniform settlement um, with this with the structure all right just wanted to end this video with that but again on this one um, that we see the drainage so it appears to be drained yes it's kind of flat but it looks like it was created by the person that added the overlay and the uh, what you guys a couple of people said that's stamped that stamped concrete well, apparently it's not stamped concrete. It is um, their pavers. I don't know where the stamped concrete is. Maybe that's around the pool. Um, again, that looks like a camera, security camera. That would be nice. But uh, Oh, shear walls. This thing does have the elevator shaft is confirmed as a shear wall per their drawings. The structural drawings, it is considered a shear wall all the way up. They do talk about it. Um, what's interesting, and I'll get to it, it's some deleted columns here. B has been deleted. Uh, B, B, uh, the B column. So I, I'll have to try to figure out. That would be nice if the, uh, the news reporter is following us here. If she, because I think it's the woman, right? She's born with brains. Um, if she could find out what's that, why is, it, why are they proudly bragging about deleting B column, the column schedule B? Where, where did that belong? I'm going to work my way over to the beams. We're just working away from the foundation up. So now you see that. So settlement, no. Not unless you get uniform. It no on settle. No no down to bedrock of any type. All right. Take care. This is pressure injected footings. Bye.